Welcome back, friends, to the shop. Right about now, you're probably wondering what in the world is a Rotopax? Well, stick around and I'm going to show you. It is so nice to be back home sleeping in our own bed after five days in Los Angeles, but we, we always have such a good time. I know California gets a bad rap for having rude, obnoxious people. I mean, that's always the stereotype, but that's just not our experience when we go down there. There are a lot of really good folks there, and we always feel very welcome. So thank you for that. So Rotopacks. Rotopack, finally, uh, there's a gas can, a high-quality gas can. There's so many terrible ones out there. I, I think the strongest point of these cans is that they come in a, in a configuration that is really easy to mount in really tricky, tricky locations. <laughs> If you have something like a motorcycle or a quad or a side-by-side -side or a boat or the adventure van or overland vehicle, the appeal of these things, and they come in these really great shapes, and the mounting system is what's is the most unique part of it, uh, but it just gives you ability to poke little fuel cans or water or diesel cans in, in little areas that you didn't think was really possible before. Now, these cans come in two configurations. Unfortunately, I bought this one. I, when I put the bumper on the adventure van, I... I I needed a, kind of a little secret one, and I wanted a little two-gallon one. Um, it, I bought this one at the four-wheel parts wholesale, I think, or whatever it is, um, and I got the wrong one. This has got the, the twist lock bottom in it. I'm not a fan of these. This is one of two configurations. I guess the idea is that you can take two cans and you can kind of twist them together and they lock together. I don't really know how that application would work for anything I have. Uh, the downside with these is a couple. First off, it, you've got all that extra material and they won't sit flat because they got a funny bottom on them and they'll, they're gonna tip over and that's kind of a bummer. The other thing is, is you don't have a dedicated handle when you want to pour the thing. They've put some little pinch recesses on there and that's okay, but it's, I mean, unless you have really str strong hands, you know, that could be kind of a problem. I'm gonna use it because I already bought it and put gas in it, so it's gonna be hard to return. Um, but the better way to go would have been to buy these. This is probably what I would recommend. This is more of a traditional style. This is the, I think this is the Gen 2. Now these are three gallon cans. These are a little bit different. You can see here compared to the two gallon, it's gonna be a little bit thicker, but it's got a smaller footprint in that uh, it's not quite as tall. What I like about these guys is that you got a flat bottom, it's gonna sit flat. And most of all, you've got a good handle on the back. So if you need to pour gas or diesel or water, uh, it's just a better, better configuration. So these cans are going to be, you can get them for uh, white for water, red for gas, yellow for diesel. I think there's a blue for kerosene. They even have a red one that has a marker on it that says mix. If you're going to, if you'd want to have to be able to differentiate between your mix for like your two stroke engines and things. And I've also seen an orange one uh, that is like a container uh, that you can open up. It's that you can like put gloves and ropes and things in. So this is what I'd probably uh, re recommend. So let me show you the mount system. Uh, that's the, I think the strongest part of the whole system, the whole deal. Uh, and then we'll mount them up. It seems to me the strongest selling point for these guys is this, is the way that these things mount. So th this is the, the base. It's kind of just a universal base that you can mount anywhere uh, and to the cans. And you can see these are, they have several different ones. This is the cheapest one. One little tip that I found, if you go on their website, they have a, a kind of a blemish area, a scratch and dent. And I ordered, these are normally like $40 a piece, which is kind of expensive, but they are, they're really high quality, of course, you know, all solid billet aluminum. Uh, but I got two, uh, two for 40. So that they have, I always see they have quite a few blemishes there. I don't care if it has a scratch on or something. Uh, but so what it is, so you can mount this here pretty much anywhere you want to and how it works with the can is now the can is going to sit on here like this and then lock in. I've got this set for the two gallon, so it's a little bit, a little bit the wrong shape there, but we can back that off. So you put the can on there like that until it comes in contact. It's got, see, we've got these two little detents in there and then this is hollowed out on the inside. So once this is mounted, we're gonna tighten this up and that's going to lock that in there and give you a nice secure mount. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can stack these cans as well. To stack these cans, you're gonna have to buy a little bit, a bit of an adapter, but you're gonna take your, your wing nut deal off there and then the cans are designed where you can put one right in here and then you'll thread that, ex that, that little extension on there and tighten this down normally just like you would. And now you've got two. So you could have like 
one water and one gas or one gas and one diesel or whatever you want, lots of different configurations, uh, you can kind of mix and match them. So it's a pretty versatile, pretty simple system here. Now just also know if you're going to have these in an area that are going to be vulnerable where someone might steal them, they do make locking ones on there. I I'm putting it in a way that's kind of, it's kind of hidden so I, I didn't, I couldn't really justify the extra cost, but uh, you might want to consider that. The obvious question that you're probably asking is, well, what about the spout? As we all know, uh, those of us who Unfortunately, our federal government has, uh, or someone, I can assume that was the government, uh, has uh, made uh, mandated uh, gas spouts uh, that some that have to be like safety spouts, right? And ultimately what they end up doing um, is failing and spilling more gas on the ground than if they would just leave us alone and treat us like adults to have normal spouts. Uh, one thing, I, you can go online and you can order like the European style, which are just a normal spout. So we do have some safety nonsense here, but let's go try it out and see if it works. Now, on a side note, if you're looking for a good safety can, my dad got this, uh, this one for me. This has got, I don't know what it's called. I'll see if I can find a link and put it in there from the, or my Amazon link. Uh, it's got a red, green push button on here, and this is what Jack uses for his dirt bike. And this is actually an awesome safety can. I do like this one, uh, but let's see how this, this guy works right here. Here. Let me put that back in there. I'll show you how it works. I, I am so sick and tired of politicians treating us like infants. Like we, we can't, uh, how long have we got along just fine with, our, with normal gas cans and they got to force this stuff upon us. So here, here, of course we have a, this is, everything on these is really high quality. Of course, you know, all American made a great ratcheting system. So we're going to have to press that little lever on there. You know, we're all familiar with it. Uh, get the ring off. This is a bad part of this can system, I think. How, how easy is that going to be to lose? It would be nice to have maybe even a clip or a place to tether this thing. Um, just, just thinking here, but we've all seen this right before. So this is going to be a self venting. Uh, it's got a nice, look at that nice thick rubber seal on there. Not like the real thin ones on the, on the cheap cans. Um, and then, then we'll just put this on here like that. So it's pretty self-explanatory here. We, we've got a lock and an unlock. Um, so this is locked. So when we go to pour, we're gonna unlock it like this. And I would imagine this is gonna press in and that's gonna release that valve in there, just like that. So it's actually, as far as safety cans go, it's pretty simple. It's one-handed. You're not gonna have to use two hands. I mean, the practi practically all those other ones, you almost have to be an octopus to use them. There, it's, not, it's not that bad. Not my favorite feature, the gas, the Ford that you have to open the door to get the deal out. Uh, okay, so this is a this is a capitalist type of can or you know filler like we have on most deals. So um, I've got that thing to unlock. Yeah, unlock there. Let's see how much. See, here's here's the problem. I don't like this Gen One can is that there's no uh, no handle there. It's not too bad because it's only two gallons, so it's not heavy. But that works pretty good. It, it's going in there. It's actually going in pretty fast. <laughs> see, see, it's still leaking, you know? I mean, that's just, these safety cans are just hateful. But it, it's better than any other ones I've worked with. So yeah, a couple drops there, it seems to have fixed itself, but uh, that's it. Will it come out without hooking on everything? Jeez. Oh, I long for the old days. Just give me a pipe and a, can, and a tube. But it works. Let me walk you through the tools you're gonna to need to install this really quick. So the base is gonna come with the mounts. Now, come on, Roto, Roto, what is it? Roto, Roto, Roto what? <laughs> Roto Max. Uh, these, are, uh, these are expensive. These cans, these mounts and premium, you're not gonna give us stainless steel uh, hardware. You get cadmium hardware. I mean, that, that's, I, I don't, that makes me mad. I mean, they, at this price, you sh we should have premium uh, fasteners, uh, no doubt. Uh, but it's gonna come with the fasteners, the washers, and at least, uh, did they include aviation nuts? I don't remember if I supplied those or not. I think they were. Quarter inch drill bit, uh, a deburring tool. If you're gonna be using this on sheet metal, I'll show you how to use that. Some anti-seize um, and uh, a Sharpie for marking. Uh, just as a little pro tip, I, I like to have silver and black Sharpies in the shop. The silver are really good for writing on dark surfaces like dark gray or black or brown. You can see them really well. And then the black, of course, or anything that's lighter. But the silver typically is my favorite. It seems to work really good. Uh, but I think that's it. Oh, 7 16 um, deep socket. The first Rotopax will mount is gonna be uh, in here. And this is just such a perfect uh, shape for this location. This is the inside of the, of the kitchen box on the adventure van. And I, what I wanted is I wanted uh, just a couple gallons just kind of for an emergency. You could just leave on there. And, you know, sometimes, you know, 
who knows what, right? You forget to fill up or you can't quite make it home. Uh, but I got to looking at this and I measured it and it just fits perfectly right here. It's gonna be nice and secure. We can bolt it right through the aluminum box uh, and it's gonna be tucked away and hidden in there. That's kind of one of the reasons why I didn't get the locking cap on here because if you didn't know it was here, you, you would, just wouldn't know um, and it was, you know, there's a big price difference between on those mounts. So this is what we'll mount here. I pre-drilled it here with the quarter inch holes just to save a little time. So uh, let's, I'll show you that deburring tool and then we'll get this set up. This is a deburring tool. Uh, it's just a small, uh, it's got a little hardened steel, tool steel uh, cutter on the end on a swivel uh, that you use for getting the burr when you drill a hole. You know, if you drilled a hole before, you'll know it gets kind of a, a heavy wire on it and it will hold the washers and off. And those are hard, kind of hard to get to. So what you can do with your sheet metal is once you drill it, just run this in there like that um, and clean that off really nice and easy. And these, they, these break quite often, you know, after use a little bit and you can store some extra ones in the cap. They usually come with a whole bunch of them. But this is a really handy tool. Are you ready to see it in action? So as you can see there, it's got a blade, kind of cut like a knife on there. And, and so this is really handy if you can't get to the back side. So you can kind of bend this and just go around and you can see it cutting and it'll cut on steel. Of course, this is aluminum, so a little bit softer, but it works steel as well. And then for the outside, you can just bend it out. And usually just one, one, one ring around, it'll just trim, trim those edges off nice and clean, very simple and then you'll get a, a lot nicer, not a lot nicer finished job when you're done. Very simple to mount. Uh, carriage bolts, you know, a carriage bolt, of course, has a square, a little deal on the shoulder uh, that, that goes into a square hole. Do you call a square hole a hole? Uh, what's nice about that is when you're using, to use a carriage bolt is that it locks. You don't have to put a wrench on both sides. So, as I said, I pre-drilled these here. Make sure I just put one in and just put a little level across the top of this, like a little torpedo level. I saw a guy that had one of these on his car yesterday at the Safeway parking lot on the back of a Volkswagen. And I'd expect this from a Volkswagen guy. It was all, it was like crooked. It's like four and a half degrees crooked. I looked at that thing and like, that would make me batty. I asked Mrs. W, I said, would that make you crazy? She's like, no, I wouldn't care. I said, really? She's like, well, yeah, maybe a little bit. I should hope so. You want your stuff to be done straight. Man, I just couldn't, I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't imagine that. I forgot to mention, don't forget the anti-seize, especially if you're dealing with um, stainless steel, the, 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 it'll gall. So we've got uh, aviation nuts on here. Boy, I know that the Volkswagen guys are gonna be mad at me. It's bad enough that they put their gas cans on crooked. Already know that they're destroying the world with their pollution lying about their emissions. I think we're ready to mount this up. Now, always on threads that are like threads you're going to be using for you know, pullers and jacks and things, a little bit of anti seize. Uh, this is something you're going to want to have in your shop. Just it, a little tube of this will last you probably and your descendants a lifetime for just a common guy. Uh, it's just going to prevent galling. It's going to make everything. Well, first off, it's going to get all over your pants and, and you'll, you'll be wiping it off everything for the next 15 years. But at least you'll have good working threads uh, to install this. So now we'll just sit this on here, push that in there like that, and then we can... I got the thread, so I almost got it too tight right there. There we go, like that. And then that mounts there on that little detent. And we've got a super secure, solid uh, mount system uh, that uh, it just it, it's just awesome. No straps, no messing around, it's nice and clean. Uh, fits inside there, we've got two gallons of emergency gas. Let's make sure that we've got clearance. Yeah. Looks great. That's a real nice clean setup there. No, most guys wouldn't even know there was anything there. Uh, I'll bring you around here. You can kind of see it from the backside. You can just barely see it uh, from, the, from the side there, but we got about oh, two fingers of clearance between the door, plenty of room there. And then with the, with the, the rear swing outs locked, uh, that can is secure. No one would be able to get it out uh, without unlocking the gate there. So that's why I didn't, kind of why I didn't get the locking mount. But that's, uh, I'm real happy with that. That's really all there is to the install. I mean, that's kind of the universal mount. I, I saw on their, or on their uh, website, uh, they had 
they got stuff that's specific for different vehicles uh, may or may not work for you but again the best deal is if you can go there on their um, on their scratch and dent or their blemish uh, there's some real good deals it seems like they rotate a lot of stuff through there and that's where i got some of my stuff uh, what does stuff cost it's kind of expensive well relatively you know it's usa made stuff like the mountain everything is all billet and you can basically drive on these cans that's how tough they are it's not like the stuff you're going to get at walmart and we do typically get a little spoiled uh, from buying stuff overseas when you're expecting usually you, know, you can go to walmart and buy a five gallon can for probably 20 bucks so when one of one of these cans is like 70 bucks it's, it's a little bit shocking uh but you know, it's USA made and I mean, there's no mystery there, right? It's just, it's the last can you're probably ever going to buy. The water cans were a little bit less. You can get, I, I don't know if they're BPA free. I'd have to check on that, but the water cans were around the forties for a two gallon. And then the, these were in the seventies and then the mounts, you know, they vary depending, but uh, may or may not work for you. But if you have, want to put something like a really small one on a motorcycle, they have cans that are like one gallon. I saw 1.75, two, and then three. And then they've got a, a doubles, some long ones that are hooked together that I think are four. So you can pretty much find anything that will work for you in any situation. So what I'm going to do in the future is I think I want to kind of try these out a little bit. I think I'm going to mount a water can right here uh, with this. I can put the spout down while we're cooking. Um, and I've got these two gas cans. These my friend John gave these to me um, and I've got the mounts are coming in the mail today. I don't have them now, but um, I'm thinking about maybe putting them up, up on top because um, what I would like to have is eight extra gallons. If I have eight extra gallons of fuel, that gives me, I get about 15 miles per gallon. So it roughly gives me a hundred miles of extra range. And that's really nice to have. Cause I, you know, if I was going to be, I, I kind of, my rule of thumb is if I'm going to be going on a long trip, I want enough gas where that I could get home one way with on my own steam without relying upon anyone else. That way, if there was like a natural disaster or an earthquake or a massive power outage, at least I would have enough fuel and water to get home. So if you're kind of figuring how much you're gonna need, that's that's the formula that I use and that, that may be helpful to you. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you how I get these mounted once those things come in, but that's probably all the time we have for today. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. I'll put a link uh, to the stuff, the tools and different things that I use, the Amazon affiliate links down in the subject heading. Um, if you wanna order those, you can do that as well. But uh, I, I think it's a good product. Uh, again, this is not a product endorsement. I paid for everything with my own money. I'm not affiliated, so um, I'm unbiased is what it is. Um, I think it's a great product. Uh, downside is the cheap hardware and the, I don't like the Gen 2 one cans with the, the locking thing on the bottom, um, but everything else, it's, it's really, really nice. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.